good afternoon. This is hopefully the final video of the homebrew feed. It's in its about as improved form as it can get. Dennis Besson of Australia and I have been doing some research into V's and bronze engines. Found out that we needed a flat bottom explosion cup, so I made one the other day with a 35 thousandths hole in it, aimed accurately to the connection port, and the engine runs much better with this. Then yesterday, science was working for us here at Hoyt Clagwell and Company. The fuel valve spring broke, allowing the fuel valve to just flop around. Well, the engine was running strangely, but it was still running. So I had a major uh, bout of, uh, what would you call it, brain flatulence, decided to convert it to all atmospheric. So I took off the intake valve rocker, took off the push rod and the rocker to the fuel valve, and took off the push rod to the intake valve. I put a very lightweight spring on the fuel valve, just barely enough to hold it up, and put a lightweight spring on the intake valve, just enough to create some suction so they could draw the fuel valve open, and the engine actually runs pretty darn well. So you could, I guess, call this the price point version of the homebrew veed. It eliminates one cam lobe and all of the intake valve linkage plus the fuel valve linkage. So I will start it up and let you make the decision. Both the atmospheric intake valve. You can barely see it, the atmospheric fuel valve. I'll load it up and let you see what it how it smokes when it's loaded. I think it fuels better now because it can hold the fuel valve open as long as necessary, as long as it's got suction. <laughs> 